in this video we will try to solve a problem on national income identity the question is like this in a standard notation if a c is equal to 200 plus 0.7 y where c is the consumption and y is the income our investment is autonomous which is 400 which does not uh, depend upon the level of uh, interest rate our government expenditure is also autonomous which is 300 and the text uh, tax rate is uh, 0.3 uh, then equilibrium level of income would be approximately equal to what the options are 3000 uh, 9800 or 1000 okay so we will see what is the correct answer here okay so what is our uh, uh, national income identity that is our y is equal to that is equal to consumption expenditure plus uh, investment expenditure plus government expenditure okay now just giving the values here we have our consumption uh, function is given as uh, 200 uh, plus uh, 0.7 y d it is actually disposable income here okay then we have this investment function uh, in place of i we have 400 i will write here 400 plus uh, g is 300 okay now what is our disposable income disposable income is simply the income that is left that is y minus uh, that is uh, left after uh, the taxes are being paid that is the tax rate ty that means uh, income minus tax rate into income gives us disposable income okay so here we have in place of uh, this y subscript d we can write y minus ty okay so this is like this uh, 200 uh, plus 0 0.7 in place of this i can write uh, y minus ty what is the value of t so we have actually like this y minus 0 0.7 3y okay so i will write here 0 0.3 uh, this is the tax rate okay after that we have this 400 and 300 now just uh, rearranging we have 200 uh, 400 and 300 that is uh, equal to uh, 900 so i will write here uh, 900 uh, plus we have here uh, 0.7y 0.7y is uh, multiplied to this term and this term also so we have minus now 0.7 into 0.3 is 0.21y okay that is y is equal to this or we can further write it like this we have 900 here uh, plus now 0.7 minus 0.21 is equal to 0.49y okay so just transposing this uh, term to lhs so this is here positive this will become negative so we have 0.49y is equal to 900 or we can write it like this uh, y that is 1 minus uh, 0 0.49 or we can actually factor it out y so we are left with 1 minus 0 0.49 is equal to 900 now this is uh, now 1 minus 0 0.49 is 0 0.51 y is equal to 900 okay this uh, 0.51 can be written as that is 10 to 100 so we divide by hundred to, uh, to get rid of the decimal so we have 51 divided by 100 y is equal to 900 okay or our y is equal to now if we transpose this term on uh, rhs it will get a uh, reciprocated also this is 100 uh, divided by 51 okay so this comes out to be uh, 9000 okay 900 into uh, 100 is equal to 9000 divided by 51 okay when solving this will come out to be 1764 point something 
seven. I have calculated it. So this is one thousand seven hundred sixty-four. So which does not come uh, close to our answer. But since the question asks us about the approximate uh, value, so we can just say here that this 1764 when ra uh, rounded off to next 100 then it will become 1800 so i guess the correct option should be 1800 but the answer is too uh, far away from this but since the question uh, asks us about the approximate value so we uh, take this to the next uh, uh possible hundred that comes out to be 1800 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video if you find these uh, very videos helpful then please share and subscribe this channel so that i get motivated to make more useful stuff for you people thank you